Hi friends, welcome to my channel. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make karhai paneer. Paneer by itself doesn't have much flavor, but when you mix it with the right blend of spices, it's awesome. So let's see what we need to make this dish. I'm using some paneer. I have some store-bought paneer over here, some red peppers, some cubed onions, some chopped onions, tomatoes, ginger garlic paste, salt, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, some green chilies, chopped coriander, some butter, we also have some oil, some yogurt, I'm also using some spices, some black pepper corns, cloves and some dried red chilies. First I'm going to um, dry roast the spices, so let's move on to the stove. First I'm going to roast my coriander seeds, cumin seeds and the other spices I had two dried red chilies, peppercorns and cloves. I'm going to dry them, roast them in the pan for um, around one or two minutes but keep an eye because they have a tendency to burn very quickly. I can already smell a very good aroma of roasting spices. Now I'm going to take them off from the heat and let them cool down for maybe a minute or two. Once the roasted spices are a bit cooled down, I will put them in a grinder and make a powder out of it. Now let's keep this aside and let's move back to the pan again. I'm going to put some oil in a pan and I have put some salt on my uh, paneer and once the oil heats up, I'm going to roast them a little bit now this is an optional um, I mean this step is optional because some people don't fry their paneer but I like it this way and I think it gives a crispy texture to the paneer and I like that I will set this aside for the moment heat some oil in a pan going to add my sliced onion and adding a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and this will help the onion cook faster. My onions are golden brown now so I'm going to add my tomatoes and I'm going to cook the tomatoes until they are soft. Both my tomato and my um, onions are soft now, so I'm going to switch off the flame and I'm going to keep that aside for a few minutes so that it gets a little bit cooled. I have my roasted brown spice in the mixer and also the onion and tomatoes which we just cooked and I'm going to add a tablespoon of water to help it grind fast and we will grind it to a fine paste. Okay, the paste is done and what we are going to do now is we will keep that aside and we will move back to the stove again for the final step. I'm putting the same pan back in the stove and I'm going to put my butter in. While butter starts to melt, I'm going to add green chilies and the ginger garlic paste. Keep an eye because butter, ginger garlic paste, all of these have a tendency to burn very quickly. I have my green to medium. 
now I will put my um, peppers and the onions which I cut into cubes and I'm going to cook them for around 2 minutes just to soften them a little bit now I'm going to add the paste which we made earlier Also adding some water for the gravy. And I will put some salt. My sauce has thickened a bit. And at this stage, I'm going to add a little bit of yogurt. Now some people prefer to put cream. That's up to you and some people don't put anything at all they just do it like this no cream no yogurt finally I'm going to add my plenty to the um, gravy coat it very well with the gravy and I'm also going to add my coriander leaves some people prefer to put coriander leaves at the very end but I think if you put it now the flavors mixes with the paneer and the gravy. And friends, our kalhai paneer is done. Serve it with hot um, rice roti or paratha and it tastes great. Try this at home friends and let me know your thoughts about it. If you have any questions, just put it on the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe.